Oh yeah, ha, oh yeah. Hele, 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 ha, hele, hele, hele. I will lift up his name. Somebody say Jesus. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, ha, oh yeah, oh yeah, ha. Oh yeah, oh yeah, ha! Wake him up, 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 wake him up. Aka marama kanga bo, chine kemo. Aka marama. Oh yeah, aka, aka. Your hands together, brother. Hele, 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 ha, hele, ha, hele, ha, hele, ha. Dio ba bulu o melu, aya aya. Ba bulu o melu, aya aya. Ba bulu o melu, aya aya. I'm not here for next level. I'm not here for promotion. I'm not here for next level. I'm not here for dollars. I'm not here for fans. Oh yeah, 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 oh yeah. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, ha, oh yeah, oh yeah, ha, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh ne bube dike, ne bube dike. Now 
are going to do something. There's a song I love so much. You go like this. It's in Yoruba language. Eje to jeje lo. You're going to clap your. Go one to me, see Break it down. Eje to one in Kabari. Go one to. I don't know. Eje to jeje lo. Let me hear your voice. Let me hear your voice. One more time. Eje to jeje lo. That song is prophetic. I want to sing it from your heart. Say! Hey. One more time. Hey, je, to je, je, lo. Ah! I want you to clap your hands. I want you to clap. Come on to me, see. Ah! Come on. Come on to me, see. Come on to me, see. Come on to me, see. Choose your neighbor, hold your neighbor here. Okay, choose a partner, choose a partner. You will face your partner. You will clap your hand and sing that song. Are you ready? Are you ready? If your neighbor is not ready, you can change your neighbor. He's not ready to receive his blessing. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. You will clap your hand. Go one to me. Ah, go one the Go out. Oh yeah, hey, yeah, to go go to me 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 Come on, shove your hands together, brother. You can do better than that. Shove those hands together. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and exalt his name. Magnify his name. It's worthy of our praise. Let's all this mighty name say something beautiful to him. Thank you, Father. Holy are you Lord. Lift your hands to your maker. Oh, creation. Call you God. What is your name? What is your name?
over you and your family can you lift your hands and say thank you Jesus my strength my redeemer my soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit 
and my spirit praise His name for death. For death, could not hold Him captive. Even in the grave. Even in the grave. Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is His the Lord. Lord. Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is Lord. And you need Baba. To to Baba. And you need Baba. To you. And you need Baba. And you need Baba. To to Baba. And you need Baba. To you Baba. And you need Baba. Everybody, Everybody. Baba. 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 One more time. Baba. 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 I want you to praise God the way you have never done in a long while. This is not the time to look at what the enemy is doing. This is the time to look at the greatness and the mightiness of your God. And use his greatness to worship him. Use his mightiness to eulogize him. Appreciate him. Exalt him. Worship him. Masaka talabadayasha Rikete bede barabasa toloboro boshata Rikata badama setekele badagejede Manda kata badana na masata le barudu boso deleria Rakata badabada bashata baya Rikete balida ramaso tolobro bobo bobo Rikata badama shesetelelia We bow before you We exalt your name We glorify your name we magnify your name we lift you up almighty 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 masakata rege dege di rege she balabase dege di rege se de bashata laba de beria rege se te ge de gadaria most glorious most glorious the ancient of the almighty Father, we bow before you. We thank you for waking us up this morning. If you want to clap, nobody is stopping you. Thank you, Jesus. Fighting for us. Fighting every unseen battles. Thank you for victory. For healings. For deliverance. For proving yourself in our lives. Hmm. Father, thank you. Blessed be your name. Lord, this morning, as we have gathered to pray, let the heavens open. Somebody here, this week, you will have a reason to give thanksgiving. Yeah. Holy Spirit, help us. Help your servant. Let the word come with power. Let prayer produce results. Visit us with your fire. Set the captives free. Heal the sick. Every dead destiny, Lord, raise them up this morning. Help us, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Put your hands together for Jesus. Tell your neighbor, good morning. How are you? God bless you. You may be seated.
Today is a public holiday. So it's a good time to be in God's presence this early morning. My prayer is that the Lord will show himself strong in our lives in Jesus' name. Let me hear your amen. amen. This morning, we'll be dealing with wasters of destiny and glory. As you lift up your right hand, look, I've gotten, when a man has been in the ministry for going to 25 years and he's over 50, there's nothing he has not seen. No. I hope you understand what I'm saying now. Uh -huh. So you should understand well that we are not moved by gatherings. We are moved by the Spirit of God. We are prepared enough for you. It's left for you to eat. We've been preparing it since 2 a.m. You were snoring. We were preparing the food. So it's left for you to come and to eat. We won't force your hand into the food because you are an adult. I hope you understand what I'm saying now. I decree to somebody the power on assignment to waste your destiny. This morning, the power shall catch fire in Jesus. Dealing with wasters of destiny and glory. Now, what is destiny? Let's try to understand that. What exactly is destiny? Destiny is what has been written by God concerning you before you were conceived. So what God has written, what God has spoken concerning you before your mother conceived you is destiny. I'm not saying what men are saying or what man have said. I'm not saying what your family have said. Neither am I saying what your situation is saying. I'm saying what God has spoken concerning you before your father and mother agreed to have you is your destiny. Oh, can I pray now? Anyone that wants to rewrite that destiny, if you stand up, let fire swallow them in Jesus. Now, stand up and shout a loud amen. Sit down, God bless you. If that place is empty, let somebody see it. It doesn't matter if water is dropping on the person. Destiny. Destiny. Now, look at Psalm 40, verse 7. Psalm chapter 40, verse 7. He said, Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book where it is written of me. Then said I, Lo, behold, I come in the volume of the book where it is what it is written of me can you lift up your right hand what god has written concerning you that satanic eraser wants to delete let the eraser and the hand catch fire in the name of jesus stand up and say father any power that wants to cancel what you have written concerning me die by fire Uh, you didn't come to pray this morning, no. You are not praying. Any power that wants to cancel what God has written concerning me and my family. Lord, let that power die this morning. Let that power rise this morning. Let that power die this morning. Let that power rise this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Amen, sir. Because you need to understand that there are powers who have an assignment to rewrite. To change the analysis of what is written.
So destiny is what God has written concerning you before you were conceived. In Luke chapter 4, verse 17, the Bible says the book of prophet Isaiah was brought to Jesus. And as he opened it, he found the place where it was written concerning his destiny. Before then, he didn't know. He immediately opened the book he saw the documentation of his life that has been prophesied long time ago. Now can I pray for somebody now? That power that wants to change that book, that power that wants to rewrite what God wrote concerning you, let that power be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I'm not getting your vibe. Let that power be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let that power be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let that power be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Bible says even Jesus there is a place where it was written and what was written concerning him is in verse 18 he said for the spirit of the Lord is upon me he has anointed me in verse 18 he has empowered me to preach the gospel to set me to heal the broken eye, to preach deliverance to bring sight to the blind. To bring liberty to those who are broke. Immediately discovered where it was written. His ministry started. Can I pray for somebody? The book of your life that the enemy has closed in chapter 1. Let that book open by fire in Jesus name. Say after me. You book of my destiny. Hey. I need to hear the voice of 200 persons. You book of my destiny that has been closed by household enemy in the name of Jesus. Open my fire. Go away. We are here. Me thought that it is. Me a baratim ben oru ko Jesus mo pa se ko shibai. Let that book open. Let the book of my destiny open. Let it open. Let it open. Let that book open. Ah, you are not praying. You are looking at me. Let the book open. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. May God help us to sit down. Some people think it's their public holiday. But this is not your public holiday to wrestle. It's Muslim public holiday. So, any member of this church that is at home is doing himself. Because our duty is to create the avenue, the platform for you to receive. I hope you understand what I'm saying now. Just like he said, he said, Thou prepared the table. This means thou fed me. So, programs like this is to bring you before the table. So when we invite you, you refuse to come. The Bible says outsiders will come and eat the food. God help them in this parish. In the name of Jesus. When you get too used to the anointing, it doesn't carry capacity for you again. And that is what I fear concerning these members here. So that is what we are talking about. I pray again. The person that wants to erase what God wrote, they erase the that, that of your parent. Your father is supposed to be an engineer. They made him laborer. They, they wrote another thing. That finger that is writing the wrong thing concerning you. Let that finger be cut off in the name of Jesus. Let that finger be cut off in the name of Jesus. Let that finger be cut off in the name of Jesus. Let that finger be cut off in the name of Jesus. Let that finger be cut off in the name of Jesus. Let that finger be cut off in the name of Jesus. What are we talking about? Destiny. What is destiny? Destiny is what is expected to happen to you in the journey of your life. What is expected to what? To happen. The event that God has predetermined that they should unfold in your life 
even before you gave birth, you were giving birth to. So the event that God has predetermined that they will happen in your journey from a baby to a child to teenager to young adult to adult to midlife to elder until when God calls you everything that God has said will happen in those stages of your life is what is called destiny can I pray again those people who change destinies in your father's house the people who take away gold destiny and they give wood destiny if you say amen oh god of heaven bury them by fire in jesus name. so destiny is your assignment destiny is your purpose destiny is your calling Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 It said before you were conceived In your mother's womb I do what? I knew you Before you were conceived That means before Your mother discovered I'm pregnant God has already ordained it That you will be engineer That you will be the, the Greatest in the family I, I thought I would hear amen from somebody so before they discovered he's a boy, he's a girl, God already knew this is the star that will shine bright. Oh, I pray again. Any power that wants to cover that star, any power that said it will not happen, that your destiny and the destiny of your children will not be fulfilled. If you shout amen, let that power be destroyed in Jesus. Sit down. Sit down. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 He said I know the thought that I think towards you The thought of good and not evil To give you what? Unexpected end. So number one thing about your destiny Is that your destiny comes from God It's from who? From God God is the source The initiator The author of your destiny Not man That's why you must not be afraid of man man have opinion but god will always have his way can i hear somebody say amen? amen number two thing about your destiny is that your destiny is a great destiny amen. is somebody getting me it's a great destiny no child of god is given ordinary destiny it's a destiny of greatness destiny of greatness genesis chapter 12 from verse 1 to 3 it said leave your father's house and i will make you great i will make you great that is in this journey in this journey in this journey to destination i will make you great so your destiny is from god your destiny is a great destiny the third thing about your destiny is that destiny can be exchanged. Destiny can be what? Can be exchanged. Oh, can I pray for you? <laughs> if they have carried out an exchange of your destiny, and that is the reason why your eagle is not flying, today, recover your original in Jesus. Oh, the anointing is in me. I prophesy to anyone who has the capacity every exchange that has taken place in your life now i reverse it in the name of jesus satanic exchange i reverse it by fire 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 i reverse it you know sit down you know an exchange took place in the destiny of Esau, sanctioned by God. So that means even before Esau came, even before Esau was delivered, God has exchanged his destiny. I hope you know what I'm talking about. Then, who was the instrument to carry out that exchange? The mother, Rebecca. 
So the blessing that was meant for Esau to provoke his destiny was transferred to Jacob. Oh, can I pray again? What belongs to you that has been given to another person? Today, you are taking it by fire. You are taking it back by fire. You are taking it back by fire. Oh, that woman, you are taking it back by fire. You are taking it back in the name of Jesus. You are taking back your destiny. You are taking back your destiny. You are taking back your destiny. You are taking back. Sit down, people of God. So that means it can be what? Exchange. It can be exchange. Destiny also can be stolen. It can be what? Stolen. That means they didn't give you something. You know exchanges. Take your own. Take this one. That's an exchange. But when they say something is stolen, it's taken from you without you having anything. So that is an empty destiny. No content. Just an empty life. A wanderer going about 40, no meaning. 50, nothing to show. Until they say R.I.P. The way the person came without a story, he returns without a glory. Oh, I pray for you. If they have emptied you, today you will recover your content in Jesus. Oh, can I hear loud? <laughs> mm -hmm. Then destiny can also be delayed. And, and that is where a lot of people are. They are going through delayed destiny. There's nothing as frustrating as when you know that it is raining season and rain refused to fall. I, I don't know if you understand what I'm explaining. I don't know if you understand the frustration of traveling on a journey that you have agreed to be. You left very early so that you can be in Onicha by 12. And you find yourself in Ore, excited by 8.30. You left Ore a little, and traffic started. It was so clear. 9.30. 10.30 in the morning. 12. You are still chewing granite in Ore. It has not moved. Suddenly, it's 5 p.m. Anxiety sets in. And by 5 p.m., I mean you are getting older. Because time does not wait for anybody. I hope you understand that. Time is not anybody's friend, whether you are rich or poor. As it affects the rich, it affects the poor. As it affects the man who is prepared, it affects the man who is not ready. Time waits for no one. Doesn't respect your situation. It doesn't have compromise. You can't bribe time. If it is nine, it is nine for everybody. I hope you understand what I'm saying. And before you know it, it is ten. Ah, what happened? They delayed him. They didn't allow the car to move. I pray for you. Every delay you are going through, it expires now in Jesus. Marita delay expire by fire. Financial delay expire by fire. Delay in business expire by fire. Every delay comes to an end today. That delay comes to an end today. That delay comes to an end now. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Now, there are powers that wants to waste destiny. There are powers that wants to waste. The word waste means to useless. The word waste means to make it of no effect. I don't even know what I'm saying now. So you are wasting it. Like you are wasting water. I, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying now. You buy fuel now that is very expensive. 185. And instead of pouring it in the fuel tank, you pour it on the floor. You've wasted it. So waste means to make it of no effect. To make it useless to the owner. Oh, can I pray for you and your children? Your life will not be useless. <laughs> I pray for all the children here. You will not be useless to your parents. 
Can I pray for every man here? You will not be useless to your family. You know when a woman says useless man, you don't know the meaning. <laughs> when a woman looks at a man, it's the husband says useless man. That means he has no purpose. He's not doing his role. He's just there to eat, sleep, wake up once in a while. He wakes time up in the night. Alpha. That's a useless man. That's a wasted life. Wasted destiny. Because he's not created only for that purpose. He's created to be responsible by providing for his family. I pray again. The power that wants to useless your children. Oh, can I pray for somebody? The power that wants to useless your certificates. Useless your international passport. Useless your talent. Let that power be destroyed in Jesus. Lift up your right hand and say, Father, any power assigned to useless me, you are a liar. Die, my father. Any power that is assigned to useless my generation. Let that power die by fire. Let that power die by fire. The power that wants to useless my ministry. Let that power die by fire. The power that wants to useless my children. You that power die by fire. Die by the power that wants to useless your shop. Useless the business. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Hey. 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 Sit down. So that's waste. You know when they say something is a waste, that is, it's not useful. That means, no matter what you buy, out of that thing you are bought, there is what? There is a waste. I hope you understand what I'm saying. You can't eat the nylon now. The nylon becomes what? And what do you do to the waste? You dump it. Oh, I pray you. I pray for 17 of you. That corner where they kept you, the hand of the Lord is bringing you out in Jesus' name. Oh, maybe you don't understand. I know there's somebody here. Your destiny is sitting on a dumb side. As you shout, Amen. Let your destiny jump out by fire in Jesus' name. Let your destiny come out by fire. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah 54 verse 16. As we are getting ready to pray. Isaiah 64 verse 16. Destiny can be wasted though. And there are powers responsible for it. 64 verse 54 that's what i said verse 16 he said behold i have made the smith i have created the smith another word is the blacksmith you know what people will call blacksmith if you are old enough you will know blacksmith they make gold jewelries and all i have created and the major instrument of the blacksmith is what is fire oh can i pray for you every strange fire that is burning in your marriage the fire burning your business now let that fire be quenched in the name of Jesus. he said behold i have created the smith that blew the coals in fire look imagine this i don't know if you have seen where blacksmiths are working they blow fire into that coal oh. Can I pray for you? Anyone that is increasing the fire in your life. Oh, you are not here today. Anyone that is increasing the temperature of that problem in your marriage. Holy Ghost, arrest them in Jesus. Let that same fire swallow them in Jesus. 
He said, I am the one who created that person. That is blowing coal. Where? In the fire. It's blowing coal in the fire. It's blowing coal in the fire. It's blowing coal in the fire. Is blowing coal in the fire. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. So through that fire, instrument comes out. Oh, can I pray for you? Every instrument of poverty that is coming from that fire, back to sender in the name of Jesus. That instrument they are using to scatter your business. That instrument, back to sender in the name of Jesus. And I have created the waster to what? To destroy. So there are wasters. And the assignment is to what? Destroy. Stand up and take one mighty prayer. Don't show mercy in this prayer. You didn't come to see anybody. Uh -huh. You are an assignment to turn things around. Say after me. You wasters from my father's house. Ah, I'm praying one, oh, a waste a year. Oh. They won't waste your life. Oh. Anybody who died before his time, they've wasted him. Oh. When somebody go to school, instead of four years, seven years, at, at the end, no work for ten years, they've wasted him. Oh. The womb that refused to conceive, they, they want to waste it. I hope you understand so that it's useless to the owner. Lift up your right hand. They're in your father's house. They're all around you. Let your prayer be angry. Don't be distracted. Some of you are just being distracted here and there. Say after me, you waste us from my father's house. You waste us from my father's house. And my mother's house. Assigned to waste my destiny. You are a liar. Die by fire. By fire, power assigned to waste me. Die, die, that wants to waste my effort, that wants to waste my effort over my children. Let that power die by fire. Let that power die by fire. Let that power die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Set to sit down. There are wasters. Oh. There are wasters. I keep remembering when I'm preaching like this. One somebody I know very well. We grew up together in the same neighborhood. Father, very rich. His father was among the very few men in the 70s and early 80s. That were driving Mercedes flat boot. If you know Mercedes very well, 230. It's not for everybody. Those days you don't buy Tokumbo, it's brand new. So for somebody to buy brand new Benz, ah, you must be you must have achieved. Not today, where people buy car before house. Boy driving 10 million is living in a flat. He's a fool. <laughs> it's showing off. He's presenting himself more than his capacity. How can you be driving a car of 20 million era? <laughs> and you don't have a, a land anyway. You've not laid any foundation. You are only trying to impress women, and not more than that. Especially gullible young women. Somebody who is mature will not be carried away because you are driving a car. Is somebody get me right now? But this boy, wasters visited him, and they wasted him. How did they waste him? They introduced him to drug. At that 10, 11, he started abusing cocaine and all that. And one day, he overdosed. He has been coming home to steal. He will steal. He will go for days. They will see him. He will go to a jail, go to the club, Fela Shrine. He was behaving like the child, nobody, as if he has no body dirty all the time. The parents will go and bring him. They will beat him. They will keep him at home. One day again, he will steal gold. He will go. But one day he overdosed and he died before eating. 
and the parents were told to come and pick his body on the road. What happened? What happened? That is not his destiny. Nobody is destined to die like that. Something happened. Wasters visited him. Oh, I pray for you. Those who want to waste your children and make them useless before you, let that agent be destroyed in Jesus. Lift up your right hand, every parent and children, pray for yourself. Say, powers assigned to waste the life of my children. You are a liar. Die by fire. If you don't have children, pray for yourself. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hey, hey, hey. So then God bless you. Now, what are these wasters? As I'm calling them, we are praying so that we can close, hopefully, maybe a little after 8.30 or 8.45. What are these wasters? Number one instrument that the enemy uses in wasting people's life is what I call casual sex. Casual sex. So whether it is fornication, whether it is adultery, it's a major tool the enemy uses to waste destiny to capture and to waste oh can i pray for you <laughs> anyone you have had dealings with who is an agent and put something and took something from you today by mercy lord let there be a reverse in jesus everybody stand up and shout aloud Whether it's fornication, adultery, or manner of immorality, is a tool of the devil to cut short destiny. Because the truth is this sex is a transaction. Sex is what? It's a transaction. It's a give and take. So, what it simply means is that if you are empty, of God and there is nothing to give then the person who is giving you will give you what is inside him I don't know if you understand what I'm saying right now I pray for you again everything that has entered your life through sex and is holding your life down today let that thing be destroyed in the name of Jesus oh, you better stand up and shout a loud amen you better stop pretending and stand up and shout a loud name. I'm not here to joke. I'm telling you the way people are being destinies are being wasted. You need to be very careful. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. He said, First Corinthians 6, he said, flee fornication. He said, This is the reason. It defies the body. It, de it spoils the body. It does not allow the body to carry glory. That's why he said it should flee. It didn't say run. It said flee. That means when such avenue appears, you are expected to run like a jet. To flee from it. I pray for anybody here. Anyone here who has been captured by adultery, by fornication, and something has been taken from you, by mercy today, there will be a recovery in Jesus. Yeah. Sit down. It's not every attraction that is because of your beauty. It is not everything that attracts, that is attracted to you, that is attracted to you because of beauty. Some people are attracted to you because of your glory they want to advance. And one of the easiest ways to take it from you is by taking you to the bed.
to defile and take something i pray for you again whatever anyone has taken from you through sex by mercy today you are taking it back in jesus name you are taking it back in jesus name you are taking it back in jesus name now let me show you two more scriptures so that you know understand what we are talking about today proverb chapter 6 verse 26 proverb chapter 6 verse 26 it's not everybody who says hello to you you greet back whether you are single or married some people's hello is to get your attention for your glory immediately you are set and you become friends and you go into a morals relationship something comes out of you immediately the engine is removed the vehicle is useless look at it can we see together for by the activity of a war. You know what a war is? I hope you know that there are different kind of prostitutes. There are public and there are private. It's not until a woman is standing by the brutal that makes her. Any woman who has multiple sexual partner or any man is a what? Is a prostitute. He said, for by the means of a warish woman, a man is turned to a what? A piece of bread. Ah! And what will happen? And the adulteress will do what? We own for his precious destiny. I pray for you here. Whether you agree or not, that is your business. This is what the word of God is saying. Ah, may the trap of the adulterer, adulteress, not catch you in the name of Jesus. Any man or woman who is hiring you to take what belongs to you, from today, let them begin to run from you in Jesus' name. Oh, I can't tell you, let them begin to run from you in Jesus' name. Let them begin to run from you in Jesus' name. Let them begin to run from you in Jesus' name. Let them begin to run from you in Jesus' name. Let them begin to run. Sit down. A very good example in the Bible is Samson. He lost his destiny on the lap of who? Delilah. Another example is who? Solomon. He left God and began to serve idols because of concubines. But there was a man who knew the value of his destiny and decided to run. And that was Joseph. He was given on a platter of gold. You need to see the wife of Potiphar. Shining skin. Uh, do you know what it is to marry a general in the army of Egypt at that height? How beautiful such a woman will look like. That other men are desiring. And she gave herself freely to Joseph. But Joseph weighed the circumstance. He weighs the 15, 10 minutes. He weighs his destiny. He said, my destiny is more important. And he ran for his life. I pray for you. That marine agent that is after you. Maybe it's even in the church. May God deliver you from them in Jesus' name. Maybe it's in your compound. May God deliver you from that person in Jesus' name. Maybe it's in your contact. May God deliver you from that person in Jesus' name. Because, sit down, because to you, to you, you think it's sex. But to that person, it's a transaction. I hope you understand what I'm saying. To you now, you say it's just normal. You understand? But to the person, because nobody knows the heart of man, to him, he knows that he has gone there to collect. I pray again for somebody. That man that is collecting from you, that woman that is collecting something from you all the time. Today, you are delivered from them in Jesus' name. See that? The second instrument the enemy can use to waste people's life is pride. Today, may God deliver you from pride. I lay my right hand on my chest. Oh, today, Lord, deliver me from pride. Deliver me from pride. <laughs> you know what pride is? Pride is false 
representation of yourself. First word. <laughs> when you think of yourself highly more than where God has placed you. <laughs> I had to shut down one of our pastors at the province on Friday. He's always used to that thing. And unfortunately, he likes to come near me. And I've always endured this foolishness. But I had to correct him. I hope you know I'm very good at correcting. And my correction is very hard. You feel very sleep church, but I will tell you. <laughs> I don't lose anything, no. If you leave church, I don't lose. I'm telling you. You only lose when people are feeding you. It's God who feeds us. I will only lose when I'm lying to you. As long as the truth, my correction is the truth, and you leave, not bothered. Every empty seat is prepared for 10 percent. Did somebody get me right now? So what am I saying? The man of God, I was telling him, ah, this man of God has been standing since 11:30. And it's 3.30 now. Wow. Ah, before I could finish. Ah, he said there was a day I was preaching too. I stood five hours. I said, shut up. <laughs> I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the man. Learn to give honor to people too. Stop taking people shine. It's as if they pour cold on him. Can I pray for you? You know the pride, we never know they are proud. That thing the enemy has used to cage you, that pride. May God deliver you from it in Jesus. Uh, pride is a destroyer. That destroyed marriages. Somebody right now is, 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 is asking me, she's abroad. I prayed with her several in liberation hour. And what was the prayer? Pastor, pray. Let me join my husband. Let me join my husband every time. Even when it's not coming. Father, Father. It didn't take long. Paper came. She joined. She joined the husband 20, 20 or 21. Ah, we want to divorce. Her. Ah, you want to divorce? I said, what is wrong with you? You that you have been praying. And he said this, he said this, he said that. I didn't tell you. Even before, why didn't you divorce him when you were in Nigeria? Now, you have gotten there now. You are walking like this now. You buga the man. He's booking, he's bugging the man. <laughs> and an African man doesn't take nonsense. I pray for you. The trap of pride will not catch you. Ah, can I pray for myself as I pray for you? May you not be proud before your help us. The pride of the poor. <laughs> Proverbs 11 verse 2. I hope you are getting ready for our prayer. What did he say? He said, pride bringeth shame. Proverbs Proverb 11 verse 2. Pride will bring what? It will bring shame. Proverbs 16 verse 18. He said, pride will bring destruction. First Peter chapter 5 verse 5. He said, God resists the proud but he giveth grace to the humble to fulfill their destiny. Tell your neighbor, be humble. Tell yourself, I'll be humble from today. Number three instrument for wasting people's life is when the enemy uses their foundation to fight them. Oh, can I pray for you? That thing in your foundation that said nobody will be great Today, God will kill it. You didn't hear me. Whether it's a man or a woman that is in the foundation of your family that said nobody's light must shine. Today, God will kill that person. I've told you from this month is the month of no nonsense. I'm telling you again. Anyone who said no light will shine in your father's house. Today, God will kill them. Anyone who said, I am happy to see you suffer. Today, God will bury them. Anyone 
one who said, why should you have children or marry? Today, God will bury them. Anyone who said, you can never marry as long as I'm alive. Today, the Lord will kill them. The sword of the Lord will fall upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sit down, child of God. Our foundation is a terrible battle to fight. And it's wasting some people's destiny. Proverb 11. You know the story very well. Verse 1 to 3. He said, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? But the God of the righteous can do something today. Then number four is what I call household enemies. Ah, can I pray for you? Anyone who came out of your mother's womb, who is, who is a silent enemy to you, may God begin to expose them in Jesus. <laughs> Say that. You will never know the intentions of some siblings when you are suffering. No. I, I don't know if you had what I, all the adults, I don't know if you had. You will never know their heart because you are suffering. So once in a while, when you ask them, Okay, brother, what is five? Bros, how far now? Hey, yeah. So, the day God answered their prayer, the prayer they have been praying, oh God, bless this, my brother. And God now decides to answer. And He blesses you. And you buy a car. <laughs> and you went to show them. Ah, <laughs> that is when you will know that a man's enemies are day of his household. I pray for you. Anyone challenging you in your father's lineage and your mother's side and from the family you married into, today, heaven will bury them in Jesus' name. Can I hear amen? The Bible says, and they hated him the more. Why? Because of his dream. Because of his destiny. Because of his destiny. I will never forget this story that Pastor Ulukoya told us so many years ago. I will never forget that story. It, it, the thing changed my own prayer life. And what was this? This guy is a first class brain. First class brain. Primary school. Excellent. You know there are some children when it's a gift, uh, what they call it, end of the year gift presentation, they take all the gift to. And their foolish parents will be working like this. gift <laughs> Instead of them to cover the child. And they begin to compare him to other siblings. It's a foolish thing, no. You are causing rivalry. Parents, listen, don't do that. You are adding internal enemy to that child he has more outside envying him now you want to raise his siblings to become his enemy and that was the problem of jacob in the life of joseph why didn't he sew that dress for all his children he has the money but he sold it for one person and jealousy started nothing kills a man like internal enemy they know you. They know what you like to eat. They know your movement. They know how to steer you to anger. I pray for you again. Anyone who knows you from the day they gave birth to you. And I said that that star will not shine. Today, the Lord will bury them in Jesus. Uh, sit down, people of God, as I'm closing. What now happened? This boy finished his first degree first class and he got a scholarship they were having a party for him end of the i mean what do they call it uh, send off you know our mama them those days in the 70s early 80s and everybody gathered there was a party in their house they were booging the thing drinking and suddenly the elder sister came to meet him bro so sure go travel by are you sure you want to travel? Why don't you just do your master's in Nigeria? Uh, auntie, which kind of talk is that? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Now drink. 
Listen to me. When people talk, it's a reflection of their true intentions. It's not an error. Take it seriously. Even if the person calls you, sorry, not joke. No be joke. Now wait till they wish you and tell you so. In the morning, afternoon, they move to the airport. She repeated it again. That drink has not cleared in my eye. It's difficult to suspect blood. I hope you know very well. It's difficult to suspect your blood. Somebody you were eating together and you share meat like the way we grew up. And they say they put one meat, they say three of you share it. And the most senior is the one to share. He put the biggest in his own mouth. These two of you and he walk away. <laughs> and if he wants to do wicked, he swallows everything. And everybody will be crying. There's no mama, papa, everybody has gone out. Hey, you ate only the meat. Hey, you ate only. By the time they report in the evening, the news have uh, expired. <laughs> so when you want to show that your senior, immediately they put food. You take me next time. You do what? You run away. <laughs> so the boy traveled. He traveled overseas, first class again. He was to return to see his parents because they've given him scholarship again for, for PhD. That night, something told him, you like to swim. You have not swim since you came to London. There is a swimming pool in that hotel. Go there and swim. You know, it's not like Nigeria where it is one entrance. There's one entrance to the reception. There's one entrance to the pool side. He didn't see the sign that says pool not working, out of use. The man that is usually there wasn't there. He couldn't see it. It was late in the night. He removed his cloth and he jumped inside. No water. He landed with his head. It was shovel. They used to pack his brain. Years after, the sister attended one program. Praise the Lord. Everybody said, Hallelujah. I want to testify how God delivered me. I used to be a witch. I'm no longer a witch. I did so many wickedness. Part of my wickedness that the star of my family, my brother, I was the one who killed him. But God has delivered me today. But she's born again today. She's going to heaven. Maybe that boy is even in hellfire for, for, for not knowing Jesus and dying that way. Stand up right now. You don't allow them kill you. Kill them before they kill you. Lift up your right hand and say, my father, my father. I can't hear you at the bar. Any agent of darkness that wants to kill me in the name of Jesus, die by fire. That wants to kill my children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Then finally, number five is environmental powers. Powers in the environment of your business who don't like that you are doing well and they want to quench the fire of your destiny. Fire in the compound where you are living. Who are not happy that your generator is working all night and they say let's quench the fire of their destiny fire in the environment of your work fire and i mean enemies in the environment of your business and those ones have an assignment because of envy and jealousy they want to divert their destiny i send this prayer to the street where you are living to the street where you are doing business to the shopping complex to the office to your shop, your business site, on the internet. Anyone attacking you because of that business, because you are living in that street, 
because you are living in that compound any power any personality any spirit any man this hour they are arrested in the name of jesus stand up everybody let us pray now what do you do as you are standing what do you do number one connect to the source of your destiny make sure you are connected the source of your destiny is the source of river to your destiny and that is god so as long as you are connected he send the right people to you as long as you are connected he send favor to you as long as, long as you are connected all the tools you need to fulfill that destiny he keeps bringing them to you number two you must be you must have an effective prayer life it's too dangerous to leave your destiny anyhow so people say but all these people will not pray how they take for feed their destiny how they take for you know those people don't belong to your kingdom they belong to their own kingdom and they know what they do in their own kingdom to fulfill whatever is their evil destiny i hope you understand what i'm saying when they ask for human head can you give one uh -huh. if they say give your child for you to fulfill financial destiny can you give your child a sacrifice if you can give your child you don't need to be here i hope you understand what i'm saying so you don't need to be on the law side to fulfill whatever you think is your destiny you can be an evil person and doing evil to advance yourself in office but when you belong to this side you need an effective prayer life can i pray every prayer life that has collapsed the lord will revive it this morning in jesus name then finally number three you need to be engaging the altar of your destiny regularly with sacrifices engaging that altar with giving engaging it regularly so that the voice of your seed will be louder than your own human voice lift up your twins and begin to appreciate the name of the lord say my destiny get ready get ready it is time it is time as you are thanking God, say, Lord, I thank you. It is time for fulfillment of purpose. It's time for fulfillment of destiny. I can't hear your voice. I can't see your hand lifted. We are about to go. Lift those hands and appreciate the name of the Lord. Raze poko, lakita bida suta, rekete madaba sutika, rekese tabaladisha. In Jesus' name we pray. I have seven powerful prayer points. I want you to be taking them one one minute loud and clear. See after me. Covenant of failure in destiny. Covenant of failure in destiny. Oh, can I pray for somebody now? That covenant that has no respect for your hard work. Let that covenant break in the name of Jesus. <laughs> if there's a covenant of failure, no matter what you do, you just wake up in the morning, cha, 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 like some people. Icha, icha, icha. <laughs> but when they are coming back in the evening their step reduces because disappointment has happened again how do I tell madam this problem again oh. even when you are greeting them the answer is slow uh, what do you want to eat food is not my problem he left very early excited thinking that he will get it but there is a covenant that is louder than his strength than the voice of his strength telling him no 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 in your family they don't do this. They don't do this. Go back. Go back home. Go back home. Go back home. <laughs> Everybody in this family is poor. Who born you? Come on, go back. Lift up your right. You will break it today. Say after me. The covenant of failure. The covenant of failure. Shout it again. The covenant of Attacking my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Break my fire. We are about to go pray that prayer. Break, 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 by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lift up the right hand. I love the way you are praying. Attack it seriously. Razote Kadaria, Ezuto Kata. See after me. The agreement in my father's house. 
that no man or woman shall be great is not my business in the name of jesus break by fire that agreement in my father's house that nobody will be great is not my own business break break in the name of jesus i command that agreement to break by fire i command that agreement to break by fire Rakata kalada bakoso lobo robo koto libe gede bede. Rika de libo robo shaka ya badara baso de gede. Rika da bala badara maso de libe de. Rokoto lobo robo bobo bobo. Rika ta bala bashata. Laka da gada. Rika de gede. Rokoto toto. Laka ta dada. Laka da bada bada. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Lift up that right hand. You are going to dismantle the barrier. Say after me. Every barrier, every barrier to the fulfillment of my destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. Scatter by fire. I clear them off. Whether it's a human barrier, whether it's a spiritual or physical barrier. Oh, child of God, pray this prayer. Dismantle that barrier every barrier that is standing on my way i dismantle the barrier to my destiny barrier before my business barrier before my marriage be dismantled be dismantled be dismantled be dismantled be uprooted be removed be removed be removed human barrier be removed physical barrier be removed spiritual barrier be removed be removed be removed be removed be removed be removed in jesus mighty name we are praying god bless you lift up your right hand i love the way you are praying we're about to go let your voice be loud and clear say after me you go lie out of my father's house that is saying no to my destiny who are you in the name of jesus fall down and down fall down and die in the name of jesus every goliath that is saying no to my destiny every goliath that is saying no to my ministry that is saying no to my business the goliath say no to my womb the goliath that is saying no to my marriage die die fall down 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 die in jesus name we are praying the siblings of joseph gathered together and you know what they said? They said, we shall see what shall become of your destiny. She be said, you have destiny. She be said, your destiny is great. She be said, your own destiny will be above our own. You said, we will battle your own destiny. By the time we finish with you, we shall see what shall become. You will scatter them. Say, evil gathering. Hey, somebody, let me hear your voice. In my father's house, in my mother's house, in my environment, threatening my destiny. In the name of Jesus, scatter my fire. Ah, my sister, scatter them, scatter them. Don't look at me. Pray your prayer. That evil gathering that is threatening my business. Lord, scatter them. 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 Fire of God, 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 scatter them. In Jesus' name we are praying amen amen, amen.
Somebody, the Lord said, I should tell you, the decision they took that you will be the least among your siblings, the Lord has reversed it. That person, the Lord said, I should tell you, your mother is part of that decision that you will be a servant to your siblings. But thus hear the Lord today, that decision they took that you will be the servant among your brothers and sisters, the Lord has reversed it today. Oh, I said the Lord has reversed it this morning. The Lord has reversed it this morning. Say, my destiny, wherever you are, appear in my life by fire. Appear in my life by fire. Are your mom in Pharaoh? Appear, appear. That destiny that has been stolen, diverted, borrowed, sold out. Let it appear, 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 appear. Makata rike de balasa. Roko soko toni masata kaye. Rike te balaba sotaria. Pray this prayer wherever they tied my destiny. I lose it by fire. Now begin to lose that destiny. Lose it, lose it, lose it. Masi kete badu ke shade. Reke sute ke patadi. Lose it, lose it. My tied destiny, I lose you. I lose you. My tied life, I lose my life. I lose my destiny. Magerega zuda. Reke te ke te karabade. Now prophesy, my destiny, move forward by fire. Move forward, move forward. Take over, take over. Move forward. No more stagnation. No more stagnation. No more stagnation. Yep. Now, see after me, power to fulfill destiny. Enter my life by fire. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer, pray that prayer. Power to fulfill destiny. Power for destiny fulfillment. Power for destiny fulfillment. Command that power to enter your marriage. Command that power to enter the life of your children. The power to fulfill destiny. Enter me. Enter me. Enter me. Power of God. Power of God to fulfill my destiny. I receive that power. I receive that power. My destiny. Get up. Get up. Get up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Arise. Get up. Move. Move. Move to the right place. 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 You can't remain in the valley. Come out of this valley. Come out of this pit. Come out of this prison. Come out of this bondage. My destiny. Get up. That city. Everything that is covering my destiny. Be destroyed. Evil covering. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. That satanic blanket that is covering me. I set it on fire. That cobwebs, I set it on fire. That evil hand that is covering my destiny, I set it on fire. Now, Pekata, now, light of God shine into my destiny. Light of God shine into my destiny. Air parts of destiny appear, 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 My destiny will no longer be strong. My destiny will be at the right place at the right time. In Jesus' name we pray. I love the way you are prayed. I decree into the life of somebody here. Every destiny of short life, untimely death, sudden death, that is on the head of anybody here that destiny is broken in jesus that destiny is destroyed in jesus every destiny i'm praying for you now every destiny of labor without result every destiny of work 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 and nothing to show if you say amen, let that destiny scatter in Jesus. That destiny is destroyed in Jesus. 
as you say amen to the next declaration every destiny given to you by household witches that destiny they gave you that is not your own they gave you to you so that you'll be running with wrong destiny that destiny that has made you a, a, a non-entity among your family today that destiny is destroyed in the name of Jesus whatever you lost as a result of relationship with anybody today recover in the name of Jesus oh, that woman recover in the name of Jesus that brother recover in the name of Jesus Recover in the name of Jesus. 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 Every counterfeit destiny in your hand, I remove it and I hand over original destiny to you in Jesus. As you stretch your two hands, receive your original destiny. Receive your original destiny. Receive your original destiny. Receive your original destiny. Oh, I prophesy to everybody here. Anyone whose destiny is supposed to be out of this country and they have tied you in Lagos, they have tied you in Nigeria not to leave, I lose you into your place of destiny. The place of your destiny, there's a place for destiny. There is a place for destiny. There is a power for destiny. The place where your destiny will be fruitful. If you say amen, let the Lord move you there in Jesus. From today, your destiny is shining. Light has entered your destiny. Favor has entered your destiny. Help us surround your destiny. No more shame. No more nakedness. If you believe the prophecy I'm releasing now, in 30 days from now what's your destiny the fruit that your destiny has not manifested before 30 days let it be revealed in Jesus you will not fail oh you will not be you will not be a shame to your family your children will not fail in their destiny it is well with you Lift up those two ones and begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Come and appreciate him, appreciate him, appreciate him.